Hello and welcome to my home. My name is Ashley Marie and I'm bringing you some extreme cleaning motivation today in this spring clean with me. This truly is an all day cleaning motivation for you guys. I have the sunrise in this video. I have the sunset in this video. We're going to be organizing, decluttering. And if I don't give you all the spring cleaning motivation to clean underneath your fridge today, nothing will because you are not going to believe what I found underneath there. I would love to have you come back to my home each and every week. So if you're not already, please subscribe by hitting the button down below. It's a free way to help support my channel. And if you are new here, you wouldn't know, but I love to start a load of laundry first thing, get it working while I'm working and we are refreshing some bits in here. I love those fabric conditioner beads by Comfort. I think it's the rose scent, but it's beautiful. I picked up some new cleaning tools, refresh the toilet paper, organize in here a little bit, and then we're going to move on. I'm washing my big fluffy white dressing gown this morning and that calls for the expensive fabric softener. If you haven't tried the Comfort Pure Fabric Softener or smelled it and you want a really nice quality one, as I said, it is more expensive, but it's great. And I obviously grabbed some more kitchen bits, a couple of things we needed. I wanted to refresh the girls' bowls and cups, plates, that sort of thing. Dog bowls needed to be refreshed. They're only $1.75 at Kmart, but these jars are only $5 and I wanted to place my flour in these you guys will see why shortly. The bins in my house are usually always empty in the morning. However, they were only half full when I was doing my night routine, cleaning routine the night before. However, they're disgusting. They smell. <laughs> There's a reason that I put them out at night time. So I've taken the rubbish out and I want to get on top of these kitchen bits now. I like to wash everything that I've just purchased by hand. I love using my dishwasher. I honestly don't like hand washing, but something about putting new items in my dishwasher i would just prefer to hand wash them rinse them really well then i know that they're a hundred percent clean I don't know about you guys, but once the kitchen is nice and clean, there's something about wet dishes just drying on the kitchen sink that is just so unappealing to me. I feel like it's not completely clean. So I've hand dried those. We're tidying up the lounge room real quick and I need to declutter these toys because they are becoming a problem. All those flashcards that you see, pretty much all of them are gonna go in the bin. I have some fresh ones to go out. The rest is toys that are, we're going to keep for the most part but they need to be sorted and organized because when they're like this Sophie doesn't even touch them How I have organized the children's toys in the living room is just with these storage cubes inside this little storage unit. Makes it so much easier for me and I have the heaviest items on the bottom of course, the lightest on top. 
We're going to vacuum the floors, we're going to mop the floors, and I also want to deep clean the dining room table and chairs. If you're wondering why I'm kind of doing the floors in sections, it's because if you're new here, I have a two-year-old toddler and I have a six-month-old baby. They could wake at any time and I kind of just need to stop, so this is how it's been working for me. Before children, I would have just vacuumed the whole house, I would have then mopped the whole house, but being a stay-at-home mum, that's just not how it works around here anymore. And if you haven't seen my video, the last spring cleaning video that I did, we deep cleaned underneath the couches and we actually did a, like a spot deep clean of the couch that I'd love to show you. So if you haven't already seen it, I'll have it linked down in the description box below. I had not actually cleaned this glass table properly from breakfast so just to keep my mental sanity clear I am cleaning the glass first. I know that's silly because it's going to need to be done again. The fact that I even have a glass table with children is insanity. Every mark, every fingerprint comes up on this thing. So I'm making sure that I do the legs, we're doing the chairs. I'm deep cleaning the chairs and making sure I get every little nook and cranny of it because I do wipe these down. I wipe these chairs down almost every day. In fact, I have to rotate the chairs around the table because my toddler will pick the same spot, but I can't have it be the exact same chair because otherwise that one chair would just get so worn out either from her spilling things on it or from me cleaning it. But I, because I clean them so often, I don't deep clean them enough. And there was some grubby bits underneath and on the backs of these, so I'm glad I tackled that. I'm just using some multi-purpose spray and just a regular old cleaning rag, which if you're new here, I like to use stained old children's clothes. It saves me so much money lately and I highly recommend. It's also a great way to keep textiles out of landfill. You can't donate stained clothes, unfortunately. So if you can't get the stain out, make sure you're giving these things a second life. A neglected area is always the cleaning tools. Don't forget to clean your cleaners. Ironically, while deep cleaning the dining chairs, all I could stare at was this spot on the couch. So I've tackled that, putting the vacuum away and I want to put a new uh, air freshener can in this bad boy. This is just from Glade. Let it be if I leave tonight. We could do this right. We'll find the remedy. Or would you stay with me now? On to cleaning and organizing the kitchen now. I am filling up that plain flour container and a great little hack for you guys is to keep that best before date. Stick it to the bottom of the container and that way you know how long until you need to throw it out or use it by, so to speak. And I'm gonna show you exactly why I wanted to buy some new containers. First of all, I just wanted it to be a lot more uniform in here, but my pantry doesn't usually look this chaotic. While being out and about for my grandmother the other day, Dylan unfortunately didn't notice that Sophie had gotten well into the pantry and then once she was in it, she just had had a blast any time that she could see that that pantry was open for the rest of the day. She just got into it and was having more fun in the flower, so I need to get on top of it. We're actually going to chuck the open containers because they're being contaminated from Sophie now. I don't know what was happening, I don't know where she was or how clean her hands were. Better to be safe than sorry. My plan of action is obviously I'm clearing it out. I'm going to wipe it all down. I'm going to slowly put everything back and organize it to the best of my ability because I am going to go to Kmart, buy some more of those jars, those ones you saw me put the plain flour, the self-raising flour in. 
I want everything to be very uniform in my kitchen, but this isn't even going to be our short term pantry. We are going to be moving soon as the owners who own this house as we rent would like to sell, which is fine. It's time for us to move on anyway, but I need to buy something very versatile. Oh, I love how that food coloring looks, but unfortunately, yeah, my hands are completely stained now, but that's okay. If this doesn't inspire you guys to pull out your fridge and <laughs> check what's underneath there, nothing will. That scared me. It might shock you a little bit if you're not from Australia, but there was actually a gecko living behind my fridge. I don't know how long he's been there. Apparently, he's a big one. I'm not sure. Like... I, I have no experience with them. Dylan put him outside for me because I completely freaked out about him. I didn't want him hurt, of course, but he was, yeah, just living the life back there. It was warm. There was bugs because it's uh, Australia summer has just finished here. And as you can see, I haven't cleaned in a while. So why are you playing? It's obvious that this was a neglected area that needed cleaning in my house pretty badly because it gives me anxiety. How dirty it was was giving me anxiety as well, like having to clean it. So how I've tackled it is I've taken my dustpan and broom and I've gotten as much of it as I can up, like the dust, the grub, you saw it. I have washed my dustpan and broom now. I've moved on to a biodegradable wipe where I have tried to remove as much of it as I can. I've taken a bucket, a scrubbing brush and a cloth, just scrubbing the crap out of it. That's just really my plan. I've scrubbed it twice. I'm gonna mop it as well. How I feel about it today. Mm, there was a gecko living behind there. So <laughs> I feel like pulling it out again as I am watching this now just to like give it another clean. And honestly, I might. So if you're not inspired, I, I, I don't get it because there was a gecko living behind my fridge. But anyway, I am cleaning underneath everything now. I'm pulling out every little bits and pieces around my house. I am vacuuming it. I'm mopping it as I go. I'm going to vacuum in the kitchen, but I'm not going to mop in here. I'm going to unpack the dishwasher and repack that instead. The reason I'm not going to mop it is because we're getting pretty close to the evening now anyway. I have to cook dinner. There's a few more cleaning items I want to do in here. And then mopping is a part of my night routine anyway. So you guys are going to get to see that because as I said, this is an all day clean with me. I've poured some boiling water down the sink now as I want to tackle the range hood. This is going to be a very greasy project. I highly recommend you just stay on top of your range hood as much as possible. It'll be easier on you. I am refilling the rinse aid in my dishwasher. And does anyone else like find it surprising how long you are standing there filling it up for? Like how much it can actually take? I'm going to turn the dishwasher on because we are well into the night routine now. When it comes to cleaning range hood filters, I honestly just think that as long as you keep on top of it regularly, you could pretty much use any method, whether that be bicarb soda and vinegar. I personally like to use dish soap, a scrub daddy and some hot boiling water. I then just rinse it with hot water from the sink. There's, there's nothing special about it. I find though, I cannot use this method if I am not cleaning every week or fortnight. It's just not possible. Too much builds up and I'm going to need something a lot stronger. I'm going to need to use a lot more time and effort. So if you keep on top of it weekly, save yourself the stress later. I just want to thank you all so much for watching. My next video is going to be an in-depth night routine for you guys. So if you're interested, make sure you are subscribed with your notification bell turned on. Give this video a thumbs up if you made it this far into the video because I appreciate it more than you know. And also it really helps to support my family and my channel. And hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.